Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I've got the 1945 Farmall H out with the number eight Little Genius two bottom 14 inch plow on steel. And you'll notice over here I've also got a number eight 14 inch three bottom plow on rubber. I'm gonna do some plowing out here on the field today. We're gonna to start with the H and the two bottom because that's so user friendly. And I've got this stretch to do Access road goes down that way, so I'm gonna do this whole square here, pretty much over to where my new seating stops, just on the back side of the hill. I've paced it out, it's about 150 paces from that end to that end, and it's about 80 wide. So, my big obstacle here, you can kinda of see we're elevated on top of a hill, my big obstacle is gonna be this side hill here. So. I paste it out. We'll come down here, roughly to the middle of the ground that I'm gonna work. And I don't know if you can see, I got this little blue flag in the ground right here. That's roughly my 75 yard point from that end up to where I wanna finish up there. So if I start my first two passes straight down and back here, being that these conventional style plows always roll the furrow to the right, if I come back this direction along this side hill, I should be rolling the furrow downhill instead of up, which is a lot easier to do and it makes me look like I'm doing a better job. I thought about going lengthways with it, but then you're either uh, pulling up the hill or trying to go down the hill. I'd much rather take it on the side, roll all the furrows down pretty flat out that way so I'm not too worried about it but we got lots of rocks in this ground and the higher up on the hills you go the more rocks you find and the bigger they are so I'll start out with the two bottom like I said behind the H and uh, first two passes I'll run the inside bottom up rather shallow try and get the uh, outer bottom a little deeper that should help me uh, avoid putting too much of a field crown in it where I started so we'll just play around with things here. Like I said, the uh, two bottom number eight, pretty good little plow. I have upgraded it to the Super Chief plow bottoms with the replaceable share shin. I can get new land sides for them and it's worked pretty good in the past. So start with this, see if we can't uh, turn it into something, huh? So now that my first two passes are done, all the way through, I can now uh, get the plow in, start on the next pass, we'll get the furrow wheel down in. I'll have to do some more readjusting now because I want to get both of my bottoms cutting at an even depth. I'm pretty happy with how the surface of what I've done looks because I uh, basically modulated the plow to run the inside bottom up a little higher. I don't have that big crown in the middle where I rolled all that sod onto the unbroken ground. So. That's a good thing, otherwise it's a whole lot of work to try and disc that out if you're left with a hump in the middle of the field where you first started.
Okay, so now that I'm finished all the way out to the pine trees on the far end down there, that's enough uh, work with the H and the two bottom. I want to try this three bottom out. So brought the Super M out here, lightened up the loader as much as I could. I don't like plowing with the loader on, but we're just going to have to do it today because I'm not going to take the loader off just to see how this works. So this is a three bottom I've never had in the ground. I've uh, done a little bit of tuning on it, got it greased. Again, pardon my shadow. Uh, good rubber on it. Everything's aired up, tuned up, adjusted, I think, at least until I get it in the ground and see how it acts. And this is a number eight. It's a little genius, just like the last one I was using, but this one has the plow chief bottoms on with the replaceable point, the somewhat shorter uh, share. Uh, mold boards are pretty good on it yet. Points in the share show some wear. Land sites show some pretty good wear. Front two anyway, this back one's not bad, but um, because plow chief parts are getting awfully hard to find. I'm just probably going to see how this works. If it works fine, I'm just going to uh, run it until it's completely wore out, and then try and convert it over to the Super Chiefs like I have on the old two bottoms. So I'm going to put this in the ground. We'll see what's going to happen, how many more adjustments I'm going to have to make, and I have no idea how it's going to go. But I'll give it a try. So as you can see behind me, uh, got the job done. Got about three acres turned over now, and uh, next step's going to be disking. But we've got some weather blowing in, so I think what I'm going to try and do is get the Super M and the plow and my old truck back up to the house before that stuff moves in, and we'll reevaluate at that time. Uh, the old three bottom worked pretty good. All I had to do was uh, tighten up the trip spring for the uh, the trip hitch because it popped a couple times on me without even uh, hitting a rock, but. Other than that, coulters were adjusted well, and love those shiny mold boards. That just makes a plow look really, really nice. So I'm pretty happy with this whole three bottom. Works pretty well on the ground. So we've got another one added to the fleet. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, leave comments below. In the meantime, catch you later.